Okay then, so now we know the basics of how to use Copilot in a project, let's try looking at these other two modes, Edit and Agent. So in the last lesson, we only touched on the Ask mode, which was basically like a chatbot, but with the added context of any open tab, so we could see our code directly. And in Ask mode, Copilot can never directly edit the code. Now the other two modes, Edit and Agent, can edit the code directly. And in this lesson, we're gonna try using both of these models to update this application. So first of all, let's select the Edit mode mode and edit mode is good for more precise smaller edits to code where we have I guess more granular control for example edits to content in single files or even a couple of different files all right so I'm going to look for a relatively simple change that we can make with edit mode and I think what I'd like to do is move the sorting handles in the chapters list from the right over to the left that's a relatively simple change because I think at most we're going to have to edit two files it's going to be this chapters view and also the CSS I think as well where we add a few styles all right so I've already opened up the app.css file which is where we have the styling for the handle right here and you can see now it's been added to the context because we have this file open which is good so it knows to update styles inside this file I'm also going to highlight this selector right here handle and what that does is add those lines to the context down here which is nice so it knows it needs to look at this particular thing over here then what I'm going to do is make sure I've got edit mode open and choose your model I'm using Gemini 2.5 Pro I'm going to paste in this prompt and it says can you position the sorting handles for the chapters so they're positioned absolutely to the left and not the right also add spacing between the handle and the chapter content so this is quite specific right I could have just said move the handles from the right to the left but that wouldn't take into account that they're positioned absolutely and also that there should be some spacing between those handles and the text. So let's click on this arrow to set Copilot working. All right, so Copilot's made those changes for us. You can see the red line is the line that is essentially being removed and the yellow line is the one that's replacing that uh, the red line. So this is the new content and we can review this and we can either keep that change or undo it. Now, if we were making changes to multiple files, those files would all be shown here and we could keep them all by clicking on this button, keep or undo them all by clicking on this. I'm just gonna click on keep over here to accept those changes. All right, and in a browser now, I can see they've all moved to the left-hand side. So that's worked pretty perfectly. And I think now what I'd like to do is maybe also add the date inside this chapter summary right here as to when the chapter was last updated. So if we were to edit the chapter and make some edits, save the edits, then it would show the date down here or at least some kind of indicator as to when this was last updated. All right, so this time I've got to open the chapters index view because this is where we output all the different chapters. And I'm going to paste in a prompt over here that says, can you add the last updated time slash day into each chapter in the list? Then I'm going to hit send. All right, so we've done that now. It's actually showing me the code over here and we can see this yellow block of code. It's just added at the bottom of each chapter. So I'm going to keep these changes because it looks okay to me. And then we'll try this out in a browser. All right, and now we can see those little edits at the bottom of each chapter down here, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do is just test this out. I'm going to go to chapter one. I'm going to make a little edit and just add some exclamations at the end. Save the edits. And you can see now this has updated. If I refresh, then we can see four seconds. Awesome. So this is working. Okay, so they were very targeted edits, adding small changes or features, and that's primarily what I use the edit mode for. And the changes could be bigger than the ones that we've just done here. For example, we could ask it to change the layout of the panels on the outline page, maybe redo the add chapter form or something, and it would still be suitable for those kinds of things because they're quite focused. But if you want to make larger scale changes or add new features that require additional code and updates in many different files and locations of the application, that's when agent mode comes into play. So agent mode excels at performing multi-step code changes and additions, including adding new files, folders, running terminal commands, installing dependencies, and just basically adding completely whole new sections of an application. For example, 
we might want to change the whole routing and page structure of the application, which needs changes over lots of files to update links, endpoints, maybe even controller actions. And that's something that's maybe best suited to agent mode because it needs to perform multiple steps across different files. Or we might want to update the whole design to use a particular CSS UI library and make UI components to replace the current ones. Again, that's something we could use agent mode to go out, install the library, run the terminal commands it needs, make those components and even drop them into the views where they're needed. So then let's try adding a slightly larger feature now, but we're still going to keep it relatively focused using agent mode. And what I'd like to do is add an order by option at the top of this codex list right here. So a user can order them in alphabetical order, either in ascending or descending order. So from A to Z or from Z to A. And that's a change that might require multiple steps. Now, it's not a huge change, but it's one that I might use agent mode for because it's a little bit more broad. It might involve multiple steps depending on the logic. But again, we probably could use edit mode as well for this. I just want to introduce this idea of the agent mode right now. All right then, so I've opened up a new chat window by clicking on this button. I've also selected agent down here. And now I'm going to open up this index view right here. This is the outline index. And in this file, we bring in all of the codex content right here. Also, we have an Alpine store at the bottom and I want Copilot to use the Alpine store to implement this functionality. So then I'm gonna paste in this prompt right here that says, can you add a sort by option above the codex entry list below the filter buttons so that users can order by A to Z or Z to A? Can you also ensure the default sorting order is A to Z when the page first loads? Use the Alpine store to implement this. Keep the styling of the new order buttons the same as the filter buttons. So let's click on go and see what happens. Okay, so you can see first of all that the agent mode is now asking me to run a command in the terminal. So this is one feature of agent mode. It can do this. Now, every time it wants to run a command, it's not going to do that automatically. It asks you right here and you can click on continue to allow it. Okay then, so it looks like it's made changes to three files. The codex controller right here, so we can see initially it's sorting them in ascending order before sending them back. We've also got a change in the index page, so all of this stuff right here. It's added the order by buttons. And then inside the outline page, we can see we have a new property inside the Alpine store called sort. So I'm just gonna keep all these changes, then we'll try this out in a browser. All right, and now in a browser, we can see this order by thing right here, A to Z, Z to A. And if I click on this, it's going to change the order of the codex entries. Awesome. Okay, so hopefully now you understand the basics of the three different modes in Copilot. Ask for just chatting about the project and the code, edit for making small and targeted changes to the code, and agent for larger scale changes to multiple files that include multiple steps or even terminal commands. Now, the example we just did using the agent mode was actually a low key example. And in fact, we could have just used the edit mode to make those changes because they were very narrow in scope. And agent mode can implement features end to end, editing lots of files, installing packages, running tests, all that kind of stuff. And we'll be running those larger tasks later in the course. But I've started with a simple example here just to introduce the agent mode and getting us using it, I suppose. And also because it can be unpredictable at times and it can wander off in a completely different direction as the task gets larger. And that can be true of all three modes, by the way, ask, edit, and agent. Now, there are ways to keep it focused, and one way we can do that is by explicitly adding context to your chats. So we'll be looking at that in the next lesson.